Well, good morning, Paolo. So, Paolo, yesterday you were telling me that there is a great walk that I can take here from the McClay Service Departments over through the, is it the Botanic Gardens? Correct. Exactly. Oh, and you have the map right yes, here. Right, yeah, well, look yeah. at this. So, where are we situated right, right. now? Right, we're located right here. Um, just right there, McClay Street. Okay. And, and we're, in, we're, we're in what's called Inner East... Correct. Sydney, yes, which is one of the the nicer places that you want Correct. to be, right? Yeah, that's right. East Sydney, plenty, plenty of cafes, restaurants. There's a lot of people in the arts industry, uh -huh. and it's a great location for restaurants okay. as well. You can and, walk down and, and the big green area. The yes. big green area is, I, I see the big, that's the Botanic Gardens. Exactly. exactly. And I see the Opera House Correct. up there, if you want to put your finger on the Correct. Opera House. Right there. So there's yep, the Opera yep, House, yep. and where are we? We're right there. Okay, fantastic. Yeah. So if so I were going to walk there, how exactly. would I do that? What we need to do is literally just cross the road here, uh -huh. and you, you take the next left here, which is Charles Avenue here. Sure. And then down some steps here. That takes okay. you to the waterfront. You see the Australian Navy around here, the Australian Navy ships around there. Okay. You just walk through the waterfront there and continue. There's a little set of steps that takes you to the top here. Uh -huh. And that's the Botanic Gardens. Okay. And you actually can walk all the way through the Botanic Gardens to Sickly Key, which is sensational. Circular Key? Circular Key is the, um, the section where you can get all the ferries across to the, the north side. I see. Um, okay. So you pick up all the ferries, and on the left you've got the Opera House here. Uh -huh. On the other side there's the bridge there. And, um, so this is called the CBD. CBD, that's, that's right. And what's the main street in the CBD? CBD, you've got a few streets there. Uh -huh. um, we've got Macquarie Street, one of, the, one of the popular streets there. I see. And then you continue down this Pitt Street and George Street. Uh -huh. All runs through to Sickly Key. And where's Palo Street? Yeah. Huh? Palo? Is, uh, there, is there a Palo Street? No, there's not a Palo Street. Palo, I'm just messing with yeah, you. Yeah, oh, yeah, right. <laughs> but Mai's around here. Mai's around here. All right. <laughs> I'm, just, there's pots I'm, I'm just messing with you. Now, now you you told me that you might actually be able to give me a view from the roof. Exactly. exactly do you have a, exactly. you have any time this morning to yeah, do that? Definitely, yeah, definitely. Can we go up and take a look yes, from the roof? Yeah, we can let's go up and that. take a look from the roof. All right. We'll all right. Yeah. Sounds good. Yeah. Sounds good. Let's yeah. let's go on up. Yeah. Okay. So we're up on the uh, roof of the McClay Service Department, and uh, I was asking Paula where the view is, and uh, boy, I don't have to look very far. Look at this. Wow. Now, which one of those boats, boats down there, Paulo, is yours? Ah, uh, um, uh, a few. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, this is a very, very expensive real estate in Sydney. Uh -huh. um, that uh, that um, house with the colorful rooftops. Yes, I see it. That's what they did the Mission Impossible 1 with Tom Cruise. Oh, it is? Well, yeah, that's the Boomerang House. That's, that's the Boomerang is. House, Mission Impossible 1. Yeah, that's amazing. So that is a uh, very nice piece of real estate there. Yeah. That's beautiful. And what direction? Were you looking east right now? That's right, east. Yes. We're looking to basically, that, that's all the bays. We've got, we've got the first bay here is Elizabeth Bay. Okay, so we're right on uh, Elizabeth Bay. We're right on Elizabeth Bay, okay. The next one is Roscaris Bay. Roscoe? Rosh, Rosh Rosh oh, okay. Bay. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And then we've got uh, um, um, Darling Point, the next bay there. Interesting. And continues all the way through up to Double Bay. That's all the bays around. So there's a small, and then Sydney itself is a bay. Yeah. yeah um, I mean. Well, we we see so that that's the head sea. That's basically the entrance to the harbour. So that's the right. North Head at the top. The top oh, I see that. Uh, if I zoom way in, right I'll probably be able to see it. So that's, that's the. North Head. I see. So it's Sydney Harbour basically. That's, right. that's the entrance to the big ships, the cruise ships, all come inside. Uh huh. And they they take you down to. Um, all the heads here. You know, wow. The house is fantastic. And the wow that I just said, Paolo, is because I looked over my left shoulder here, yeah, 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 and yeah, in yeah. doing so, I saw the, uh, the the famous landmark. The look at that. There is the Opera House. You know, when I th when I see that site, the Opera House, you know what I think of? I always think of New Year's Eve, because this is one of the first places in the world to ring in the New Year. And they always have the uh, fireworks. I would imagine this is a great place to watch the fireworks on New Year's Eve. Have you watched them from up here? We, we, we fully booked. I mean, we get everyone, all the rooftops around there. No kidding. All around, everywhere. I mean, it's massive, massive. There's fireworks going on everywhere. And it's there is the, the uh, there's the skyline. That would be CBD over there. Right, that's a CBD there. And I'm going to walk there. And the garden, the botanic garden? Exactly, right there, right in front of you. That's the tiny garden. Okay, there's the botanic garden. Fantastic. Look at this. 
So I'm going to, uh, you know I'm going to do the bridge walk. Have you done that before? Oh, it's sensational. It's an it's, it's, it's experience of your lifetime. Really. It's sensational. Is it really? It's a three-hour tour, and then the guys are really sensational. They guide you through. Even if you haven't climbed before, they put you at ease, and they're really sensational, and they're uh -huh. really good. Wow. I recommend that. Yeah. So I got a nice zoom in on that, uh, on that right there. That's fantastic. All right. Well, listen, thanks. I'm going to uh, find my way through the garden and... Uh, and over there, and I really appreciate you taking the time to uh, right, let me share this with everybody. Right. All right, great. We're living in a great city. <laughs> yeah, great, thanks. <laughs> Before going down, I thought I'd take a quick uh, shot of this residential building here, here in Potts Point, just on the other side of the roof. And you can also see some more of the Sydney skyline off in the distance where I'm going to find myself the, uh, later this morning. All right, my first morning walk in Sydney, and Paolo's walk took me down this street here, which was Chalice Street, and uh, I am now going to head on down these stairs that are going to take me through the Botanic Garden on my way over to the uh, over to the um, harbor. As you can see, I'm at the corner of Chalice and Victoria Street, and this is my first morning walk in Sydney and rather nice neighborhood it's got a very uh, relaxed feel to it and much to my delight when I woke up this morning I was looking out at very overcast skies and I was thinking that it was going to be rather cool but quite contrary it's uh, actually rather rather nice uh, you see a gentleman there having his breakfast out on the, out on the balcony of his home here and I'm uh, finding my way over to the McEl McElhon stairs to Wulumulu Bay. Wulumulu Bay. So you can see a gal just down below me on her morning rock jog, I should say. So I'm going to find my way down the CBD and. Uh, find myself a nice place to sit and work for the better part of the day today. I didn't have to go very long on my walk here before I came across an interesting spot called Harry's Cafe de Wheels. Uh, world famous pasties, chili dogs, uh, looks like pies and peaks and look at all of this stuff here. So you got some famous people up on the wall. I don't know if I can pick anybody out but uh, you see some of the people that have come here to have a, uh, I guess they call it a, call it a pie. So let's, uh, I'm gonna grab, there's Colonel Sanders enjoying a pie, of all people, in 1972, Colonel Sanders of KFC. So let's uh, see what else, uh, there's a, another picture here of a scene at this popular spot here. There's a gentleman enjoying one of these, uh, I think he's enjoying a breakfast pie or something. Look at this. Harry's famous pies. So I'm gonna have to come here and uh, have to come here and get a lunch, I think. I would think people come here for lunch or breakfast. Pasty and peas. So you can get a get a pasty and peas. Pies, pies and peas. Look at the menu up here. Look at that. There's the pies. Meat pie, curry pie, chicken pie, veggie pie. Wow. All right, so maybe I know where I'm going to have my lunch. And just a little further along my walk, I come to this area here. Looks like a harbor with a beautiful boardwalk. And look at these homes right along the, the water right here. And if I'm not mistaken, I think I see the Botanic Gardens just up on the right. Here's yet another view a little bit further on as I find my way into CBD. Very nice. Very, uh, see a lot of people out for their morning walk or run. Very, very nice. And the, the weather just feels fantastic. It's not humid, and it just feels really nice. 
Paulo's directions were right on. You're looking at the Royal Botanic Garden, Sydney, and they are giving autumn tours right now. Kind of interesting because for me, this time of year is accustomed to late spring and summer just right around the corner. But everything is uh, upside down over here. So this is the entrance to the Royal Botanic Garden. And it'll take me through to the uh, CBD of Sydney. Well, just inside the gate, you'll see this fountain. And then over here, there is a, uh, a wonderful plant. It's called an apple cactus. Look at that. For those of you out there with green thumbs. And then just over here you have the signpost, which is telling me over to Sydney Opera House. It's a 12-minute walk, and if I go back the way I came, I can go to the herbarium or the pavilion. And there is the Palm Grove Center and shop, restaurant, and cafe. But I'm going to continue on the way that Paulo told me to do so, and that is to find my way through the garden. And I'm looking for King... Uh, King and George Street in the CBD. What a wonderful place. Everywhere you look in this botanic garden, just an abundance of beauty. Really beautiful. No shortage of palm trees here. So I'm going to come back and do a proper tour of the botanic gardens but right now I've got my mind set on one thing and that's work getting myself over to a nice cafe and setting up for the day for some productive work okay if trees aren't your thing maybe this interesting looking bird would be look at him just walking along here I don't think he has to rely on Google Maps. All right, from the beauty of the botanical gardens, I found my way down into Sydney. And uh, there's a little bit of a taller feature here in Sydney there that is called the MLC Center. So I'm actually trying to find my way down. I'm on King Street right now and I'm trying to find my way down to King and George Street and uh, what I'm looking for is a tablet to buy because the tablet that I brought with me it was a uh, Samsung Galaxy the tablet I brought with me was just uh, well it broke I dropped it and it broke so I'm, I'm trying not to think about the uh, trying not to think about that 14 hour plane ride back to San Francisco a week from now or two weeks from now depending if I extend my trip but uh, I want to have a nice uh, nice tablet with me as I travel on that flight fortunately that flight it's not a it's not an overnight flight per se it leaves at uh, two in the afternoon so it'll be well I'll get in at six o'clock in the morning uh, Australia time and uh, that would be um, what six o'clock in the morning Australia time uh, I'll be getting in around one in the afternoon on San Francisco time but uh, I cannot travel well I can I have to sometimes go overnight and uh, I cannot stand overnight flights so anyway that is your tour from the uh, McClay Service Departments over to the CBD of Sydney. And I'm going to uh, get on with my day and let you get on with yours as well.